Before we get to our phone calls, we've got Josh Willingham on the phone line, now part of the Washington Nationals. And, Josh, the first question i got to ask you, did you spend that $100 that you uh, won off me last year on the Raiders? Uh, I spent that before the season even started. That's how <laughs> sure I was with that bet. Man, what do, you, what do you think about the game on Sunday? All right, give me the game. I'll tell you what I think. Well, Raiders at Dolphins. Raiders are uh, getting 10 and a half. Well, I think if the Raiders were getting 10 and a half against my uh, Alabama Crimson Tide, I might take the points and take the Tide. Oh, man, come on now. Come <laughs> on. You're an Alabama uh, fan, huh? Right, yeah. Actually, I think that uh, I think that Miami will win the game, but, you know, I think the Raiders are going to – I think they're going to actually play with a little pride this week and keep it close. No, I think I think uh, Miami may keep it uh, a little close, but that that's about it. We'll see. Anyways, man, you're now part of the uh, Washington Nationals. I guess I should say congratulations for that. Um, not too much of a difference in the crowd, though. I mean, you'll probably get a, at least a few hundred more fans, right? Yeah, they don't draw too well. Um, but it, it looks like that they're trying to, to make their ball club a little better, you know, make a few moves and – piece some things together and you know i'm looking forward to next year and hopefully we'll uh, be able to win a few more games than uh, the nationals won last year yeah well i mean they're, they're definitely trying to make it better i mean they got you on the squad and you're, you're great out there in the outfield how did you uh learn about uh the trade i mean we hear sometimes you read in the paper oh i was watching it on tv but we've got you on the air now i want you to tell me exactly how you found out you were going to uh, dc well it was crazy because it was just a normal day here for me in Alabama, and I was actually uh, I was getting the oil changed in my truck, and um, Larry Beinfest called me at about 5 o'clock my time. In the morning? And, uh, no. In the afternoon. <laughs> okay. You're crazy. Anyway, in the afternoon, and, uh, you know, he said, hey, how you doing? Uh, I bet you're wondering why the uh, your general manager is calling you on a, a Monday in November, and I was like, Actually, I'm yeah, I'm wondering why. And he goes, well, we just traded you to the Washington Nationals. Ooh. And it didn't really sink in at first. It was kind of like, is he kidding? I mean, that's a bad joke, you know, if he's kidding. <laughs> but, um, anyway, obviously he was serious and told me I could be expecting a phone call from Jim Bowden, the, man, the GM for the Nationals. And, you know, it kind of I was kind of shocked because I really thought I'd be back with Florida uh, this year. Um, but I went into the offseason knowing that they were going to make some moves. I just didn't know until that moment if I was going to be a part of those moves. Man, now I'm only going to be able to uh, talk Raider football with you just a few times a year in the visiting clubhouse instead of uh, seeing you every day. There you go. You have to make a special trip when I come to town. That, that, that's terrible, man. So uh, how did that? Uh, how did everything go? Uh, did Bowden give you a call? Jim Bowden give you a call from the uh, Nationals and welcome you aboard? Yeah, he did. And, um, you know, he was he, he just, you know, he said that they were glad to have me. They thought they made a good trade, obviously. And, um you know that he wanted me to come up on short notice for a, a press conference and to meet all the front office and and everybody. And I, of course, I didn't have a problem with that, so I flew out Tuesday morning and went up there and met him, met Stan Katz and the president and all the uh, front office folks, and did a press conference and it was pretty harmless. And then I came back home. How does that work when you fly out to meet your new team? They they send you a private plane, or you got to jump on like American Airlines or something? Uh, U.S. Airways uh, direct flight to uh, Washington. Oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, besides Scott going over there with you from the Marlins, are, are you familiar with any other guys over there in the clubhouse in D.C.? Well, just playing against them and uh, kind of talking to them on, on the field and, you know, and during batting practice and stuff. But obviously Aaron Boone and I are pretty close. If he decides to come back, he's a free agent. Um, he was with the Marlins, obviously. So him and I are pretty good friends. And, um, you know, just talking to, like, Ryan Zimmerman and Nick Johnson and some of those guys on the baseball field. Other than that, I'm not familiar with any of them. Yeah, but you're pretty you're pretty easy to get along with uh, in the clubhouse, at least from what I know. Uh, as far as your position out there, uh, I mean, have they spoke to you yet, or is it too early? You know, where in the outfield, uh, where in the batting lineup, or where you're going to stand when you get over there? Well, they haven't uh, expressed that directly to me. Um, from what I understand, you know, I'll be playing left field. I don't think they would have went and got me to play anywhere else, you know. No. Um, so I think I'll be playing left field. And, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be in the middle of that lineup, you know, fourth, fifth, sixth, somewhere in there in the middle of the lineup and hopefully playing every day and, you know, hopefully have a good, se- a good season and, uh, you know, not have a big injury this year. 
Yeah, that that definitely be nice to have you out there the whole year, at least for the uh, for the Nationals. Just take it easy when you come down here and play the Marlins. You've done pretty good. Uh, I was looking at your stats uh, over at the uh, stadium over there, and plus at the other one. I mean, maybe something in the air in D.C., but, uh, I mean, you should have a, a pretty good year over there in Washington, man. Yeah, you know, I think uh, in the past, uh, the last three years, I've, I've hit the ball well probably against the Nationals, you know, better than I have against any team. They're probably the, the best team that I've, I've had, my numbers are probably the best against them. I don't know if that had anything to do with the trade. You know, it could have. But, um, yeah, there's just something about going to D.C. I, I've always, I always hit well there. It was probably in my mind a little bit. And, uh, you know, it was it's fun to go there. Now I get to play 81 games there. So hopefully I can be hot every one of those games. So when, when are you going uh, condo or house hunting? Well, I don't know. That's the wife's job. She's, uh, <laughs> I just live in a one-bedroom, but, you know, obviously <laughs> one place that she's comfortable because she's got to be there, you know, with our family and stuff. And uh, I think we're, uh, from what I understand, the players live in uh, North Virginia and Arlington maybe, so right. we're going to go look for a place there maybe in January. Well, Ginger's a good lady. I'm sure she'll take care of you. She will. She'll take care of me. She'll find a good place where I'm comfortable and she's comfortable and, you know, we're excited about the move. Hey, well, Josh, thanks for uh, joining us on the show, taking time out on your uh, Saturday morning, waking up early to be uh, with us here on the Slater Show. And best of luck to you in uh, D.C. with the Nationals, your new uh, team. And can't wait for you to uh, come down here and play the Marlins. Uh, plus, you'll probably be getting a phone call from me after the game on Sunday when the Raiders beat the Dolphins, all right? Yeah, that sounds good. Good to talk to you, Andy, and uh, go Raiders. Yeah, there you go. All right, Josh Willingham, <laughs> appreciate it, man, uh, joining us here on the Slater Show now with the uh, Washington Nationals. No more Florida Marlin uniform for him.